Hi! This is the first video of chapter 1 on perfect competition. In this video we will talk about profit maximization. So just to begin, we say that the objective of the firm is going to be to maximize its profits. And this assumption is frequently used in microeconomics because it's going to predict business behavior reasonably accurately and it simplifies the study of firm's decision-making process. However, there might be many other purposes that the firm may have. For example, if the firm is big enough and the managers are not the owner of the firm, it's highly likely that they will have different objectives from profit maximization, such as revenue maximization to achieve growth, for example, or the payment of dividends to satisfy shareholders, um, other firms may have different purposes, as for example improving the society in one way or another. However, all these purposes are referred as short-term objectives. And the reason why is that a firm that doesn't maximize its profits, at least in the long run, it will not be able to survive. And it will have to shut down. And this profit maximization is going to take place in any type of market, no matter if we are talking about perfect competition or monopoly, oligopoly, and so on. In every type of market, the company will be expected to maximize its profits, at least in the short, in the long run. So we compute the profits at the difference between the total revenue and the total cost. The total revenue is the result then of multiplying the price by the quantity that the firm produces or that it offers in the market. And the total cost will be the result of adding the variable costs and the fixed cost. These are the variable costs, these are the fixed costs. So we have the profits as the result of multiplying price by quantity minus variable cost and minus also fixed cost. Hence, the firm will have to make a decision regarding the quantity, the quantity that is going to offer in the market, and sometimes it will decide also the price at which it is going to sell its products. However, in other occasions, the price will be given by the market, and the firm will have to accept and only decide if it can offer any product at this price, which is given or not. So the decision about the price and whether to produce or not will depend on two factors, the number of consumers and the number of producers or the level, the level of competition that we have in the market. Let's put an example. If we think about the passing uh, of the COVID-19, we can easily see that the first firm that achieves to produce a vaccine against this virus will have market power to decide the price. As any country that wants their citizen to get vaccinated could only buy the vaccine from this first and only company that is producing it, then this company will have market power. After a few weeks or months, other labs were able to produce an alternative vaccine, so the first company begins losing its power of market, its market power, because now the countries have access to other options and they decide to buy from other labs and at a lower price. Then the price in the market is decreasing. And that's all for this first video. If you want to know more about how firms maximize profits, go to the next video, how to maximize profits. See you.